This is the MPK TT270. It's been getting some pretty good reviews online, so I figured I'd do an unboxing as well since I got one on Cyber Monday for $20 off. It comes very nicely packaged in the outer box, then this inner box, which has a handle, unlike the unit itself. In the top there, you've got the manual, and you've got a box of adapters for different plugs around the world, which comes in handy. Inside the manual is also the 45 adapter, which you can only really store that on the spindle of the unit itself. There's no slot for it in there. On the sides, you get the power adapter, which comes preset for American plugs, but you can quickly slide on and off the ones for international plugs. I really like the color scheme of this. It's got some nice brass latches, feels pretty heavy. It comes with a uh, foam mat. The only thing I didn't like, there was some discoloration on the top of the platter, but other than that, it's pretty good. The arm itself comes very well secured, but it all feels a little plasticky. I guess the sound, though, isn't bad, so I can let that slide. And part of that, I'm sure, is the Audio-Technica cartridge it comes with, which is conical, but still a good cartridge. So now, here's what it sounds like with, first, the sound from the speakers into my camera microphone, and then I'll transition into a line output. As I was doing the audio recording, I was able to look at this unit at eye level and I realized this is mounted like this, and here, this side, it's flush, which is how I think it's supposed to be. So I'm not sure what happened here, because it was very well packed, but this unit will be going back. One thing I forgot to mention, these screws and feet were included, but there's no mention in the manual of how to install them, where they get installed. I find nothing on the unit that indicates there's a space for either of these, and I didn't see any mention of these in other unboxing videos. Also, mine did not come with a record brush, which I've seen in other videos, so I'm not sure what's going on with this unit. Maybe this was B-Stock and they never told me. Maybe that's why it was marked down $20 for Cyber Monday. They were trying to clear these out, but when I get the next one, I'll see if these are in there and try and figure out between now and then what they're for by contacting the company.